sa ano pa papakita dito ha. Hapon kami kuya na nagdadaanan ko. Ang ating guest ngayong umaga para pag-usapan natin yung reading issues. Reading? Yes. Reading issues. Alam mo, ako at the age of five, ano na ako, mabilis na ako magbasa eh. Isyo ba yun? Wow! Isyo yung iya naman kami kuya. Isyo rin isyo ko ngayon. Iya naman ako kuya. Bakit pagkaganon? Masyadong maaga naman. Kasi pag-usapan natin yung delayed sa pagbasa. Pero pagkakatulad ni kuya na 5 years old pa lang, bumabasa na. Pasok po, pasok po kayo. Ang tawag niya na doon, genius, diba? It would depend kung ano yung binabasa niya. Pasok po. Ayan, kuya, si Dr. Catherine Baltazar Braganz. Welcome to our house, Dr. Yes, isa siyang neurodevelopmental pediatrician. Dr. Ish, hi! Hi! Hi, Dr. Baltasar. Hi. Hi. Have a seat, Doc. Pag-uusapan na, pag na 10 reading issues. Yeah. Okay. Pagbasa ng mga bata. Morning, Doc. Good morning. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Kaya naman natin makukonsider, Doc, na may problema, may reading issues sa mga bata? Actually, uh, in practice kasi, usually, dinadala sila sa amin around uh, grade 1 or grade 2 when expected na kasi na kaya na nilang bumasa. By grade 1 kasi, ang, ang uh, ina-expect sa school, at least they can read words. Minsan, nakakalusot pa sila sa, in grade 1. But uh, grade 2, when comprehension na yung ano, yung... Uh, kailangan nilang malaman, doon na sila yung mas nakukol na, na yung attention ng teacher and ng parents. So, they bring uh, us the kids by that time. No, Pebos, kasi di ba may issue about reading? Mm -hmm. Meron kasi yung mga bata na mabagal lang naman bumasa. Minsan yung expectations yung din ng parents, eh, oo. Oh, oh. When they read, tapos hindi tuloy-tuloy. Mm -hmm. they, they decipher the words, pero wala pang continuity. Let's say, mm -hmm. at six years old. Is that still, is that already considered as a disorder or a disability to, or a reading disability for that matter at six years old? Okay. Let's define a reading disability or dyslexia. Reading dyslexia is the impairment of word word reading or decoding. So, okay. uh, that's in contrast to reading okay. comprehension okay. that is connected to the communication okay. skills. Right. So, ang ano, reading, as automatic as it is for us or those who could, uh, who, do, who doesn't have dyslexia, it actually involves a lot of processes. Yung visual processing, pag nakita mo yung words, uh, uh, the way your mind will process what you see. Mm -hmm. Second, phonological processing. Yun yung pagka binasa mo, kaya mo siyang sabihin. Third, orthographic uh, processing. Yun yung uh, pag nakita mo pa lang yung word, kahit hindi mo siya alam basahin, ano, yung sight reading. Some kids kasi, they compensate through sight reading. Then auditory processing, di ba? As we read, parang binabasa natin yung what we read in our brain. Mm -hmm. And then next, yung sinasabi nyo po, yung uh, overall processing speed. So, it's part of dyslexia. And the last is the memory or retrieval. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as it is, there are different steps. So, yung question nyo po about uh, some kids, they, they are very slow in reading. So, it's part of, ano, it's considered dyslexia. Meron naman doktora oh. pabaligtad. Oh. Bawa yung, may, may, merong bata, nakakabasa na siya at the age of one. Oo. Pero pagdating niya ng age of four, nakalimutan niya na basa niya. Baka ibang ano yun. Baka ano yun. Age of one, nakakabasa talaga. Hindi, pero yung anak ko kasi, si Eunice, binigyan ko siya ng ano, binigyan ko siya ng baby can read. So, siya pagka, halimbawa, nakita niya yung word, alam niya na sabihin. Kaya kala mo, nababasa niya. Actually, yung po yung sinasabi ko, parang orthographic processing, they sight read. Uh -oh. they sight. Oo. So, uh, when you assess kasi kids who have reading disability, you have to note kung which part of the reading process they do they have, ano, they have uh, difficulties. Kasi before nga, yung, if you go back to history, they would say na akala nila visual yung problema sa mata, kaya hindi nakakabasa yung mga bata. Pero later on na nalang nila na-find out na it's actually related to the brain. Mm -hmm. Oo, kaya... So, ano, bang, oh, ano bang unang uh, dapat na tinuturo para mak makabasa yung bata? Kasi usually, kagaya nun, yun nga, yung, yung anak ko, ang una natutunan niya yun, parang... Yeah, Side reading you know, lahat, lahat na. So, oh, alam oh. niya na na 
alam niya na yung mga words na yun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pero kasi ngayon, magpo four years old pa lang naman siya eh. So wow, nag-umpisa pa lang no. siya matuduan. Yung mga ibang mga words na lalaman niya na dahil nga uh, maliit pa lang siya, lagi niya nakikita yung mga words na yun. Tapos yung association with... Uh, Mm -hmm. Pero ano ba ang dapat talaga sa bata na unang itinuturo para makabasa siya? Okay. Developmentally kasi, what we look at yung pagka before we read, we have to identify the letters first. Mm -hmm. So yun. Kasi kung sight reading, it's a good way rin to, ano nga, as I said, some people with dyslexia, they compensate through sight reading. Pero, ah... Uh, Uh, if yung process po talaga, it would be better that they would know how to identify the letters, then the phonological equivalence of the letters. Diba kaya ganun po sa school? Initially, they are asked to identify the alphabet. Tapos, ano-ano na sila? A, ah, ba, yung ano na sila? Phonological. So, uh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, just I have okay. a question also. Kasi, so, would it be that the dyslexic child can recover from dyslexia? Mm -hmm. Or will you be able to intervene such as a dyslexic child will be Pinakamaga. able to cope? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. To uh, actually, there are ano, different uh, uh, intervention. Okay. It could be remediation. That is yeah. yung early ano po na... You go back to the foundation. Yeah, you go back to the foundation and look kung ano nga pong process yung problem niya. And then, in some cases po, in some severe cases, kasi they don't, ano na, parang nahihirapan na talaga sila. Mm -hmm. So, augmentative. So, what we do, like... So, they can't get over it. Some kids talaga, they can't get over. Sa sabi nga po nila, uh, ano siya eh, parang some kids, you seem to think that they were able to get over, but... They compensate through other things. But they can function. They can yeah. grow into adults. And mm -hmm. That's normal. I have That's a normal. colleague who's dyslexic and he was telling ah. me yeah, he was dyslexic as a child but now he's also a spine surgeon. But I'm just concerned because mm -hmm. and sometimes it's undetected. Like what you said, they come at grade two. No? Mm -hmm. And sometimes nga akala that this, the child is not smart or in yeah. pala they have problems with, with comprehension. Oh, so oh. what are the signs? Okay that you, oh, oh. you look for in a child. So let's say, ako, I have a child. So what would I look for? Uh, usually po kasi, it would present earlier on pa na yung yeah, difficulty with memorizing the oh, alphabet. Nice. Some would really say na, paulit-ulit kami, pero hindi pa rin alam na memorize. But when they memorize naman, difficulty in uh, ident uh, recognizing the words, parang ganun. Yung, yung pronunciation ba, dyslexia din yun, doctor? Sometimes they're having a hard time pronouncing the words. Mm -hmm. It's part din. Oo, oh, oh. dyslexia rin siya. It's quite frustrating kasi kaya alamin na natin, pagka ganyan ba na may ganyan yung anak mo, possible ba na it runs into your family na, na mamana-mana siya? Doon? Actually po, yun yung ano, yun yung pinaka basis po ng uh, read dyslexia is ano talaga siya? Genetically, uh, genetically no, inheritable talaga siya. They already identified some chromosomes who are, mm -hmm. ano, uh, which are specific for mm -hmm. dyslexia. Okay. Very interesting talaga yung topic natin ngayon. Pero medyo wala tayo ng oras, Doc. Ako, five years old, speed reader na ako eh. Wow. Nag-speed read ako ng five years old, ng English and Filipino. Wow. Uh, kasi mahilig ako magbasa. Basa, basa, basa. So, ibig sabihin ba kaya na mama... Maaga ako naturuan ng... ng mami ko na mag magbasa. O kasi pagka hindi di ka makakapaglaro. Ah. Kasi <laughs> maglaro. Kailangan sa exercise. Basa ka. Kaya ang ginis mo magbasa. Kuya kasi gusto, oh, kasi mo, maglaro gusto ko gusto ko na makalaro pangan. agad eh. Yeah. Ah. Maganda pa ah, natin. Basahin mo. Pag di man basa, ah, sandali lang. <laughs> Tapos ko kaagad basahin yan. Oh, laro na. <laughs> <Di ba? laughs> May sikreto rin minsan eh. Okay. Pero hindi totoo yun ha. Kahit sa school, yung pagbasa ng ano, English and Filipino. Uh, mas ma madali ako nakabasa ng ano kasi siguro dati uh, madali ako mag-memorize. Mm -hmm. At the age of 5 nagme-memorize uh, at the age of 3 nagme-memorize ako ng 20 stanzas ng poem. Tumutula ako ng ano eh, ng, at, at the age of 3. Yung ba yung photographic wow. memory? Yeah. Iba naman yata yung photographic yun? memory eh. So, kesa sa ma ma ano yung retention, mm -hmm. diba? Oh. So, re yung photographic Pag memory, pag binasa mong gano'n, ano ka agad? Iba naman yung retention. Mm -hmm. Oo, pero yung uh, uh, pagka-practice din kasi. 
Yeah, correct po. Three, yeah? Practice kasi, practice. ganun rin po yung ginagawa sa remediation. They practice and practice. Madaling maka-absorb pag bata, pwede mm. pang sponge na. Kaya, very important that we recognize oh. early. Ano nga so, daw eh, yung bata years. daw at hanggang age Seven. of 10, uh, kaya nilang makapag, uh, at least uh, makakuha ng 10 languages din. Wow! wow. wow. Maraming mga research na ginagawa, mm. 10 languages kaya nilang ano, iba-ibang... Ay, may makikita ka mga bata, ano sila eh, AMFM, dire-diretso, English, ano, Tagalog. Ay, at the age, I, I was three years old. Hindi <laughs> yan, 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 I was three. I was three yan, nakatungtong ako dun sa ano na yun, 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 nakatungtong ako sa three years old pa lang. Nag-declaim ako, nag-ano. Wow! Yan, 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 maliit pa ako. Bibo kid ka pa lang. Hindi, ano. Tagalog. Sepia pa yung... Ano lang, ano lang nun. Medyo... Akala ko tinagtagal lang na filter para maganda yung pala, totoo yan. I love you, kuya. 19 lang yan, 1978. Ulo! Excuse me! Nag-protest tayo. Hindi, 78, lumabas yung picture. Tagal ma-develop na. Patagal ma-develop. Okay. Um, right. ma kaya mas maganda rin talaga ini-expose yung mga bata sa ano, mga mm. reading materials. Tapos kahit yung mga naka... Ako po oh. noon, uh, kaya ako na-develop na lagi yung mga naka-post. Yeah, oo. Oh. Pag ano, tatanong, ano yun? Ano yung ano? So, oh. Tapos ba, pag nakakita, basa. Binabasa mo ng binabasa. Lahat okay. ng mga nasa poster, yung mga ano, binabasa. Pag hindi ko alam, Binadaan. tatanong ko. Kaya, papra. Kahit naman sa mga newscasters, eh. Dapat ang mga newscasters, nga ganun yun, basa kayo ng basa. Diba, para para sa sabihin nyo yun, 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 there was never an us. Hindi, may mga, may mga practice na, di ba la, dapat practice. May practice ng pinapractice. Kaya nga, di ba, ikaw pinapractice mo, minimikanik ko ni Monica, ang makina ng minika ni Monica, di ba? Kaya hindi na ako practisado. O, di ba? Alam mo yun, di ba? Minikanik ko ni Monica, ang makina ng minika ni Monica. Minimikanik ko ni Monica, ang makina ng minika ni Monica. Minimikanik ko ni Monica, ang makina ng minika ni Monica. Wow! Okay, gang. Ang tabo ay kumakalabukab sa pinagkalabukaban na ayaw kong pakalabukabing ngun, kumakalabukab din. Ano daw? Practice mo na. Ang tabo ay kumakalabukab sa pinagkakalabukaban, ayaw kong pakalabukabing ngunit kumakalabukab din. Ang hirap, hindi ko naintindihan. Hindi mo ka naintindihan, kailangan sabihin mo. Saan po kayo, meron po kayong special ano na para clinic na pwedeng magpa-assess sa inyo kagad? Ay! Meron kayong pwedeng puntahan? Saan po kayong pwedeng puntahan? Ah, okay. Ang clinic ko po sa USD Hospital. Okay. Tapos actually, I also go to PCMC, Philippine Children's and East Avenue. So as early as anong age po pwedeng ipa-assess sa inyo kung eto ba may problema o wala? Actually, as early as, ano, you know, Ted, some problems. Parang na Pwede nakita na. mo Oo. na medyo may problema. Oo. No? Oo. Pwede na. Kahit, ano, early, actually, better nga po na younger sila. Hmm. Pero hindi naman kasi hopeless ang dyslexia, di ba? Oh, hindi naman siya hopeless. Dami akong Yun mga nga. may alam na may dyslexia ngayon. Ang galing. Na. Kasi nga po, there are other, ano, ways to, ano, compensate. Kailangan lang talaga, i-ano kagad, i-assist din sila. No? Yes, oo. Oh, oh. uh, Saka si Kuya, right. kuya si Doktora kasi, neuro-developmental pedia. Marami kasi developmental pedia. Siya, neuro pa siya. Kaya, talaga magaling <laughs> no, kayo. Sa, ano, semantics lang siya. Parang ano lang sa training. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, thank okay. you so much. Maraming thank maraming you. salamat po. Okay. Thank you very much. Mental awareness week kasi ngayon, kaya pinag-uusapan natin ang mga bagay-bagay patungkol sa mga mental.